What's going on YouTube? If you're a C7 Corvette owner and you're experiencing some snapping or clicking noise on your front end, stay tuned. We're going to talk about that issue right after this. What's going on everybody? If you like car content, whether it be from GM, Ford, Mopar, or what have you, then make sure you click and subscribe to this channel for tutorials, vlogs, and car reviews. So what's going on everybody? It's your boy D back with you once again. And today, we're gonna to talk about a little, a little mechanical issue that I've had. This is the first um, issue that I've had with my C7 Corvette, affectionately known as the Fonda. Um, over the past few weeks, I've been experiencing some clicking or snapping uh, in the front end as I'm turning either to the left or to the right. When I turn it to the left, I hear it on the right side. When I turn it to the right, I hear it on the left side. Um, and so I've even heard it a little bit when I'm going in a straight line. So um, I was pulling into a car show this past weekend and I was trying to park and sure enough it was a loud snapping sound as I turned to the left or to the right. So I, I didn't want, I mean, I didn't want my car sounding like a hoopty. So I decided at that point to uh, take it to the dealership. Um, but before I did that, I ended up uh, taking a quick video of exactly what it sounds like. So take a listen. All right, everybody. So um, there is a slight ticking noise whenever I either cut to the left or cut to the right. And so uh, I'm about to um, put the car in stealth mode so that you can... Uh, so that you can attempt to hear this. Um, I've heard that this is a common problem. Um, however, I don't care for common problems on this car. So, I uh, don't know what that, oh, that's my phone. Um, but yeah, so I was just pulling up and th this has been happening probably for the past week or two, but I thought it may have just been a rock or something in the, um, uh, stuck on his tire because they're so sticky. However, I did read that this is a common problem where there may be some debris or something like that um, in between the tire, in between the wheel and the rotor or whatnot. I, I don't know, but uh, take a look at this. And like I said, it's only when I put the wheel to the left and to the right. So I'm about to switch the car into stealth mode. There you go. Now take a listen to this. So there you, there you go. Um, and so this is the first time I really noticed it on both sides. So whenever you cut to the left, um, you'll hear it on the right. Whenever you cut to the right, you'll hear it on the left. So yeah, it's just kind of weird. So we're gonna end up taking it to uh, Pohanka here in the next uh, half an hour and uh, to try to see what's going on. So uh, let's check it out. All right, everybody, so I just ended up dropping LaFonda off, and uh, so I'm just kind of, I'm gonna end up hanging out to see if it's a larger problem or see if it's just something dealing with rocks or something stuck on the tire or stuck in the suspension somewhere. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see. So everyone, I'm now back. Uh, just now um, getting my car back. And so uh, just kind of checking it out. Just from the left turn and right turn that I just did, it looks like that may have fixed the problem. Um, I 
apparently there's some type of service bulletin about these clicking noises and so uh, I guess they had to lubricate some uh, bearings or something I don't know what it is so I ended up taking it to Pohanka, uh, Pohanka Chevrolet awesome guys awesome dealership over there they whenever I have my car in there they take awesome care of it and I like to thank everybody that works there and who works on the car thank you so very much and so once I took it over there um, the gentleman came back and told me that there was actually a service bulletin that is out about this particular sound um, and it was weird because I had posted up a picture of the uh, waiting area kind of where you pull up your car and everything like that at Pohanka and uh, I had mentioned what it was there for and several people commented on my picture saying that hey D I'm actually experiencing this this same exact problem is it a quick fix what's going on with it so if you are experiencing this problem like I said if you turn to the right or to the left you're hearing a snapping sound and every now and again uh, when you're going forward you can hear it as well uh, make sure you reference the service bulletin PI 1498 Bravo that's Papa India 1498 Bravo and it basically states that uh, the subject is a clicking noise from front and or rear of the wheels the models that it says this affects is 2014 to 2017 Corvettes as well as 2016 to 2017 Camaros now obviously it's 2014 to 2019 Corvettes because that's what I have is a 2019 and so it just basically tells you what the concern is it states some customers may comment on a clicking noise emanating from either the front or rear or rear wheels location this condition may be predominant at low speeds 10 to 20 miles per hour during a full wheel lock turn on dry pavement the clicking noise is generally noted as approximately one to four clicks per wheel revolution this may cause uh, this may be caused by interaction between the wheel mounting face and the wheel mounting surface of the brake rotor and so then it goes uh, into detail about how to actually go about uh, rectifying the the issue um, it's basically putting some lubricant or something like that on the uh, on the two plates or two surfaces where they meet and so I, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get into the uh, the maintenance bay to get uh, the process uh, uh, recorded super sorry for that but I at least still wanted to come and let you guys know that if you're experiencing that snapping or clicking sound that you can actually take it to the dealership and have them fix it and like I said reference this bulletin I'll actually have a copy of the uh, bulletin in PDF form uh, linked in the description below so you guys can actually pull this up uh, but it looks like it's a quick fix and um, hopefully uh, there will be no more clicks after that um, basically once I got done once I left the dealership didn't hear any more clicks or anything like that so hopefully it will go ahead and I won't have to worry about this at all anymore while I could have done it in-house and put lubricant or whatever and just clean the two surfaces myself um, I like to get things documented that I do or that there's a service bulletin for it and so taking it in to me was a better option so that everything can be documented with this car you pay good money for the car so you need to document any and everything so that in case there are some um, second and third order effects that happen because of this issue I want them to at least know that I tried to fix the root cause of the problem or what was believed to be the root cause of the problem alright so take it to the dealership it's under warranty make sure you get that stuff taken care of so alright everybody so I'd like to thank you for coming to the channel if you like this video please go ahead and smash that like button if you like the channel please go ahead and smash that subscribe button I love having each and every one of you every single time I upload a video and speaking of that make sure you go ahead and smash that uh, bell notification button so every time that I upload a video you'll be notified and once again everybody in less than two weeks we are going to have Corvettes at Carlisle in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Like I said, me and several other YouTubers will be up under one roof. Just wanting to hang out with you and just having a good time talking about everything Corvettes. So everybody, thank you very much. And as always, remember, everybody deployed. And I'm out.